When asked whether aliens have tried to contact us, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City, quipped, for all we know, the aliens have already done this and unwittingly concluded that there was no intelligent life on Earth. They would now be looking elsewhere. Which brings us to this photo. When I took the picture, I hadn't noticed the reflections in the train's windows. Yes, the lights, trees, railing, and commuters are all behind me, not on the far side of the train. However, when I viewed this image on my computer, my first thought was that the two orange lights were the eyes of a menacing alien, and the transit authority, accordingly, had painted a warning on the platform. My friend Guy had the exact opposite response, that a benevolent alien was warning us to stand back from the speeding train. This interpretation I much prefer, which got me thinking, what if those alien beings in search of intelligent life didn't leave but decided to stick around because they like us and want to help? Maybe they're still here, watching us evolve, gently nudging the arc of the moral universe towards justice and, from time to time, shielding us from harm. Maybe they're open to communication and leave signs, albeit subtle ones, only discernible by a few true believers who look really hard. I do realize the eyes in this photo are just lights in a parking lot, but I keep hoping that if I continue to look closely, especially at reflections and shadows, I'll catch a wink from one of the aliens that didn't leave to look elsewhere.